Welcome to Warriors TV here at Oakleview. As Stenners, we are welcome the last side to beat them here in the league. Caught on the heels of their first league defeat since that day in August. Gary Naismith said that he wants to bounce back, but will there be a second unbeaten series in this remarkable story being told this season? Dumbarton picked up their first win in six against Elgin up north a week ago and they'll be looking to pile the pressure on the hosts and boost theirs and the chasing packs chances in the process for Stenhouse Muir Gary Naismith has made a change but Eden Lynch continues in Nicky Jameson's absence at the back as does Kyle Jacobs with Nat Wedderburn still suspended the one change comes up front as Bradley Rodden makes his first start at the expense of Matty Yates. Ross Taylor is back on the bench after illness. For Stevie Farrell and Dumbarton, it's also one change to the starting 11 that won up at Elgin 1-0 a week ago. As Calvin Orsi has failed a fitness test and is on the bench as a result. And Mark Kelly comes in to make his full debut. And away we go, referee today, Ryan Lee, gets things underway. And here is Brown, he will whip this in. And we all know about the delivery that he possesses. More of a floated one on this occasion towards Meakin. It wasn't a bad header, there just wasn't really enough on it really to end up go words but you could see the plan and it's so crucial at this level but the first goal will be absolutely vital this afternoon and it goes towards the back post and it's a bit of a scramble in the box I don't know who got a touch and it looked like a Dumbarton player and play continues but the referee Lee has blown, blown his whistle now honest Still just a very, very intriguing contest with some quarter of an hour gone already and it still remains goalless. There's a lot of energy on the park already though. It's quite end to end without any real clear cut chances. Lennon defended well, just stood up to O'Reilly. Newbury tried to play it into an area and almost found Ruth. Here's Lennon. Be a lot of eyes on the young defender, of course. It's a really deep ball, and it wasn't a bad one. Kelly was in the vicinity. Dad and Jameson never looked troubled. Ryan Wallace is up in support, but Ruth going all the way. The save from Jameson, and then some shouts for. A uh, penalty on Lennon, but bit of congestion around the penalty spot onto the head of Lynch. Could not direct it goalwards. And how many more opportunities are Dumbarton going to give Adam Brown to find the correct ball? Because as much as Ruth will find the correct ball or correct finish, then they at the other end, Adam Brown will find the correct ball at some point. Commentator's eye. Meek into the back post. It's taken down by Rodden. Just couldn't get his knee over the ball. And Wallace just shrugs Jacobs off. Fallen for Kelly. And is there to be a chance at the other end before the interval? Pinatello in support. His white shirts into the box. Gray. And he just plays it straight to the feet of Buchanan. Down. And that was almost a really good ball. The 
effective flick on for Ruth, who slipped it through for Ryan Wallace. Just ran out of space, had to move it onto his right foot. And Dumbarton with yet another corner in this second half. Couldn't clear the first man, could the ball from Wallace. There's the shot from Blair. And this time, Pignatello. I don't think he could have hit that part of the stand again if he tried a hundred times. Just about to say that. The sign as well. And this is the first we'll see of it. Anderson will keep that in. Lennon's out of position. And can Taylor conjure up some magic here? Oh, goodness me. Forced the goalkeeper into a very unorthodox save. The game just been played at 100 miles an hour at the moment. Billum. And Anderson takes it down and hits the bar. What an effort from Mikey Anderson. And he's so unlucky. The last few minutes, were, they've been positive for Stanley Spear. They've really come back into the match. I think he managed to get a hold in, just about a hold in the midfield. And with the two additions with Matty Yates and Ross Taylor, I think they're really just coming to the game really quickly. Even to take the ball down in this weather is amazing, but here's Anderson again, and it's just wide. And there'll be some real frustration from Dumbarton. That really looked like it could have been a foul when the build up. Stenhouse Muir just pressing a little higher. And that's exactly the payoff. Here's Taylor. That's a cynical challenge from Creighton. And he gets a booking. It's one of those fouls that it's a great foul to make and it's just so clear a booking, but it's one of the fouls when it's your team that commits and you it's, it's Ross Taylor is driving forward and it's just a foul that has to be made. Adam Brown did it in the first half and just it's, it's smart defending actually. That's it's really smart defending. Yeah, good booking to take from a Dumbarton perspective. Ross. And he tries to go for the near post. And it's down to Taylor. Into the back of the net. We said they'd made an impact. Boy, have they made an impact. It's, smart, it's a smart piece of play. Matt Yates and Ross Taylor both know what's happening. Ross Taylor knows Matt Yates is going for the shot. And that Hogarth might have might parry it. He's alert and it's a great play. And Ross Taylor might have gone in off the Dumbarton play, but a great finish from Ross Taylor. The one thing I'm looking at there from the Suns' point of view is the wall. Now that's the wall side because of where it's lined up. So to get the ball bent round that suggests to me either somebody's tucked themselves in too much or that the wall's maybe a yard or so out of position from where it should be. Because if that's on the wall side, it's given Jay Hogarth a lot to do to come across, cover it. And that goal from Ross Taylor, 265th Stenhouse Muir goal in all competitions against Dumbarton. In the 165th meeting between the two, and Ryan Blair could be in trouble here. And he's gonna go as Ryan Blair for the foul on Anderson, and the former Warrior walks. Taylor may have the chance to stretch his legs again here into Yates who fancies the effort just wouldn't dip soon enough for Matty Yates the corner will have to do I'm sure Yates would much rather have had a shot on goal but in it comes and it's a free header for Meakin just rolls off the shoulder and he'll be very disappointed with that effort
and Hogarth's up. It's towards the goalkeeper and Creighton's header is over the bar and surely now that is all. As Calvin Orsi has to wrestle the ball from the ball boy. Again, Dan Jameson's very fortunate there. He comes, he, he gambles, he comes to get it, he doesn't get it, and Crichton gets his header away. And if it's on target, it's in the back of the net. And, and it's another three points for Stenhouse Muir this afternoon against Dumbarton. It was a real struggle at times. Dumbarton, probably the better team in the first half. But Stenhouse Muir made the breakthrough through Ross Taylor. And after defeat against Peterhead, the Warriors are back to winning ways. And it's another three points that could lead them to exactly where they want to be at the end of the season. But it's finished here at Oakleview. It's Stenhouse Muir 1, it's Dumbarton 0.